In this video I will show you how to create a Red5 application. So the first thing to do is to go to code.google.com slash p slash red5. Scroll down to where it says red5 0.9 final. Click on the zip link and save red5.zip to your hard drive. Scroll back up and click on updates. Then click on R4037. Then click on project.zip. Right click on view raw file. Save target as. And save project.zip to the same place where you've saved red5.zip. Scroll back up. Click on trunk. Click on util.xml. Right click on view raw file. Save target as and save util.xml to the same place where you've saved the other two zip files. And now you can see that I've saved all three files to the same location. And now I'm going to extract red5.zip to the same location. And now that I have extracted red5.zip, you can see that it has put this lib folder here and I will save something there in a minute. So now I will click on the source tab and copy this URL and paste it in my browser. Click on the lib link. Right click on ivy.jar, save target as. And I will save it in my lib folder. And now if I go into my lib folder I can see the iv.jar is there. And now open your build.properties file, right click, open with WordPad, find the iv.version and verify that the version is the same one that we downloaded. So this one is 2.1.0 and the version we downloaded is 2.1.0, so that is correct. And now open a command prompt. And now we need to go to the same directory where we extracted red5zip and where we downloaded the files. Mine is on my D drive, so I will type in D colon. Now type in ant space minus f space util.xml space project. And now it will ask me three questions about my project. The first question is, please enter your project's name, and I will name mine test app. Now it says, please enter your workspace path, and I will use my Eclipse workspace path so that this project will be created with my other projects. So I will copy this path, right click, paste, then it says, please enter your package namespace, and I will use com.testapp. And now it says, build successful, and it has created my application for me. And if I go to my Eclipse workspace, I can see it has created the test app folder with my test app application. And now all I have to do is import this into Eclipse. So open Eclipse, right click in the Project Explorer, Choose Import, then click on Import, then select Existing Projects into Workspace, click Next, and then it says Select Root Directory. So I want to give it the, the location of my test app, so I'll copy this path, paste it here, then click the Refresh button and it will appear here, and then click on the Add Project to Working Sets checkbox. And I don't have anything in this drop-down, but if you do, then you should select All in the drop-down. Then click on Finish, and it has imported the application. Now right-click on your application, select Properties, click on Java Build Path, then click on Projects tab, and you should see this red5 underscore server. This is the project in Eclipse where you've built the red5 distribution then click OK. 
And now we have created a Red5 application. And now to create a second application, open the command prompt again. Again, type in ant space minus f space util.xml space project and hit return. And again, it will ask three questions. Enter your project's name. This time I will type in test app 2 and hit return. Enter your workspace path. Again, I will give it the path to my Eclipse workspace. Enter your package namespace. I'll type in com.testapp2. Build successful. And now if I go into my Eclipse workspace, I can see it has created test app 2 folder with an application. So now I'll ha all I have to do is import this into Eclipse. So right click on Project Explorer, Import, Import, Existing Projects into Workspace, Next. And now I'll give it the path to Test App 2. Click Refresh. Check Add Project to Working Sets. If you have anything in this drop down, select All, then click Finish. Then right click on Test App 2, Properties, Java Build Path, Projects, Red 5 Server. And again, this is the project where I've built my Red 5 distribution. Then click OK. And now we've created a second Red 5 application.